Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday, it's July 13th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and today was just a range day. Looked pretty obvious. That's what we would have as early on this morning. Uh, once we started breaking higher here, you couldn't rule out that we may not go much higher. Although we do have a break and a new high. Originally, I had this a little flatter than this, uh, but or maybe a little steeper, actually a little steeper than this, but I adjusted it as we got these, uh, a couple of new swings in here. And uh, clearly we had a break here and a move to a new high. And then we sold off. And it's just a failed breakout up here. Um, and you didn't get a whole lot of chance. There's a really strong sell off here once it was obvious we were going lower, but you really didn't get a good chance to enter this unless you got in up here. I just don't see any entries I would want to take down through here. You might enter on this one here with this very low risk, uh, small bar here. You could, it, you could look at that. There's actually, you could look at this as a double top. So a first entry, second entry, but it's still not a failure. That's a pretty strong move up. So it's really not a failure and you're not even back to the EMA and there's no confirmation. This trend line, that's just like the first swing. So it, it's really hard to, to take that short, I think you're better off to skip it. So I didn't mark it, but um, once we started selling off, you had to assume we we're probably going to test these lows and we didn't quite get there before the close. We got really close. Uh, there seems to be some strong resistance right through this area right here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to back out. We'll go through the trades. There's a few of them today, um, a little better than yesterday, a few more. Uh, even though this was a range day, the trends are pretty obvious here. Uh, this is a spike in channel with a very flat channel, but it's still a down channel. This one was a little harder to find because because of this move right here. You actually really got a break here, but we continued on. So um, I played with this every different way. You could look at it, and you really just can't argue with that channel. That's and I and I drew it originally, but it looked like we had a. Uh, this break right here, which we did, even though we continue to go lower. So it was just a little hard to maybe know for sure how this was going to play out here. So uh, you probably could even adjust this up a little bit to like so and bring this one on down some maybe like so. It still fits there, and it actually fits, fits a little better. We just don't get back to the upper trend line, which that would lead you to think we're going lower. But since this is a range day and we just came off the highs, you're expecting prices to go to the lows anyway. So uh, especially once it was obvious we were making lower highs and lower lows, it looked like we might get a reversal right here. Notice the green channel coming down. You get the break, two-legged correction, move to a new low. And then you get this reversal pattern and then a second entry long. So I really thought maybe we were going to reverse there and that was going to be the lows. But we continue to turn down and keep working lower. And there's not many trades after that anyway. So but let me back out or zoom in here. We'll talk about the trades and uh, we'll wrap this day up. But that gives you a, a look at the big picture. And one other thing. I've been showing you the daily. You can see that we actually overshot that measured move here and we're turning it looks like we're turning down right off that upper band again where we've kind of got a correction now we could only just back up a little bit and keep going higher uh, but you can see we bounced off the midline went right back up to the uh, purple line we didn't quite touch it this time we actually touched it here and have this push up uh, we'll see where prices are going from here we could continue to go higher. We do have a measured leg in place, a little bit more than a measured leg. So we'll just have to see how this works out. But there's your look at the daily. And back to the intraday chart, 2000 tick. But at this point, we were 7 o'clock comes right up here. This is looking like a real tight range. And we just kind of dropped out of there. No way to really enter that. Uh, it's this just too dangerous to try to go short here. And so you, you really don't get a good shot at that nice move down. But then you get a first entry, second entry, nice second entry. Um, I marked that one green just because we're so far away from the EMA. 
But that's a very nice second entry setup. Really good signal bar. If you take that one, I got no problem with it. But it is a little ways from the EMA, and you don't really know for sure if this trend line is correct yet. It's a quick, easy scout, and then we bounce. And, of course, you get a first entry, second entry. And this is a much uh, better second entry back at the EMA. Again, another big, nice signal bar. Two legs up. Uh, I like going short there, and if you didn't enter there, definitely you would want to enter on this lower high right here, and that's a quick, either one, you could probably get a runner here, it's a quick move down, and if you catch that one trade, you're probably done for the day, or you could be, depending on what your target is or whatever, but there's your two legs, and this really probably should be measured from there. And you can see we didn't quite get it, which leads you to believe we're going to get a pretty good rally there if it keeps going higher, which it does. So uh, we bounce here. Uh, there's just a first entry short and a first entry long, so I don't think you can enter there. And then you run up second leg. So your failure is right here, and you're too far away from the EMA. And you see you might have still got a scalp out of that, but it's just not worth it. Who wants to ride out all that out with a chance you could get stopped out? And even then, I don't know if there's enough there to get out of that. Let's just measure it. I'm really curious. There's six ticks. So that would have been a four tick failure. You would have got stopped out, and that would have been that. So, yeah, not a good entry. And you can see there what happens. Even though it pushed higher, you still wouldn't have got out of that trade unless you got, unless you used a limit order and got a little better entry, you would have had a four tick failure and got stopped out, only to see prices go exactly where you thought they were so just be patient wait on the better setups that's just not a good setup anytime you're that far away from the ema especially after on a break you only got to go a few ticks to get a new high and then it can easily sell off so but if you just wait a few minutes later we pull back here and you get this uh, first two swings it comes back and uh confirms it right here and gives you uh, technically this is a first entry and then you get that, that correction right there. So technically, you could treat that kind of like a second entry short uh, that fails. But um, I just like it as a higher low that confirms that trend line. And, a, and, a, and this, this opened right here, traded all the way down here, and then trade. Actually, it opens right there where the at the high of the red. And trades all the way down and then before it closes come all the way back that takes a lot of buying so i like going long there on a higher or low uh, confirming that trend line and then we just continue to work higher um, too much sideways here so i don't really see anything i like uh, we come back first entry second entry but signal bar is no good and then you get another higher or low right here nice signal bar so i like going long on that one and again, it's right off that trend line. Um, I, I originally had this trend line a little bit higher, but it's still at the key entry point. So it still would have uh, been a valid trade, whether you had it drawn like me or you drew it a little steeper originally. Um, and there's a first entry and a second entry. So there's a failed second entry short there. You could look at this as a double uh, bottom. So first entry, second entry. So there's a possibility of looking at that as a failed second entry short. But it's right into the resistance. I just think it's too dangerous. It would have worked. And obviously it rocketed up. That's what they had to do was trap some shorts in to rocket it up. Or push it up, I should say. And we push right through that resistance. Fail real quickly. Come back down. And that's your first break, true break of that two-tiered channel. And there is a second entry long there, too. Notice you're coming down first entry, second entry. It only looks like one leg down. Uh, but that's a nice signal bar. It is a second entry, and it's pretty close to the EMA, your first break. So you're probably going to get a push back up to at least test this uh, top of the res resistance and, and probably try to make a new high if prices can. And you can see they really struggled to get on, but eventually they made that new high and before they reversed. Uh, once you weren't getting any rejection or bounce here, you just can't enter this stuff. Uh, even though you could look at this, it maybe as a failed second entry short when it broke higher there. Um, I think it's too risky. And you don't get another chance. It just runs straight up. Then it comes back first entry, and then there's a second entry here. But that signal bar is not very good. Although it broke lower and turned up, that is an engulfing bar. 
Uh, I just don't like where this sets up. It is above the EMA. So you may take that trade. Um, it is a little bit of sideways there with a failed break lower. Uh, and when it does come back up, it's a second entry long. Uh, the problem is we hadn't been bouncing off that key entry point. We've been coming back to the trend line. And we've already had a break in a new high. I just think it's too risky. But we run up anyway. Um, and then we come back. And notice this. There's a first entry. And then you, you're all below the EMA. And there's a second entry long right there. Somebody sent me this trade and wanted to know why that failed. But hopefully you can see why this trade would have failed. You clearly got a break here. This is You clearly had strong resistance here. So you already possibility of it break, failing on the breakout anyway. But you've got to close outside your trend line and a few legs up to a new high. And then you shoot right back through the EMA and you try to go higher once, twice. It fails. I like going short there. I definitely don't like going long underneath the EMA right there after we've already had this close over here new high and we shot right back down through the EMA. That's not a good sign. Everything's played out and everything's saying, hey, there's a chance we go lower. So I think you're better off. And that is congestive too. Look at that big bar. And then all of this is pretty much inside that. So when it creates that long trout, I mean, that's a, I'm just going to tell you that is a pure rookie mistake to take a second entry long right there and they're going to I guarantee they sucked a bunch in and then once they let it go lower look at the bottom file that's the trade of the day right there and if you can catch that trade you can ride that all the way down easy 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 and easy runner on that comes back right here but again I, we talked about this earlier I just don't think you can go short there uh, another lower high here, but again, the signal bar is no good. Uh, another one, just a first entry, though. Uh, that's your first close outside. And you would expect prices to go lower, but there's a good chance with that close outside that you may get that next leg, and you actually do get two legs back. But you made a new low here, so that just looks like, it looks like it's going to trap people, but it can't go lower. So I don't think you want to risk going short there on that second entry. Just wait a minute, and then you get the close outside this trend, and you get a move to a new high. And now you get a um, a much better entry right here. And it really looks like two legs up now, and so that looks like a true second entry. And it would be on a little larger picture. So I like that one much better. Nice signal bar. There's a lower high here, but I don't think you want to go short way down here at this support. And you see it would have worked, but it doesn't go much further. And then it's bouncing again. At this point, you you would this really um, once you get this actually you get the break right here, two leg correction, and move to a new low. And now now at this point, you would be thinking, hey, we could get a reversal. You don't really have this channel confirmed yet. So if you move this all the way over here, like so, it looks like we've got a break with two leg correction, a move to a new low, and this looks like a reversal setting up. So notice that new low. And you get a first entry short, you go higher, and you get a second entry short, and it instantly fails. I like going long there, and in this case, it gets exactly six ticks, uh, so you would have been able to scalp out of this one to the tick, and then it turns down and gives you a second entry long right there, so I like entering again, and uh, but it turns down, and it's obvious there's some kind of trend line there at this point. Um, there's a lower high here, but it's above the EMA and it's really still hard to kind of know what's going on there yet. Uh, it's looking like this is probably some kind of mild downtrend, but I don't think you want to go short into the EMA there when we've been above it for several swings there. It would have worked, but I, I'm not going to take a lower high there. I, I'd want a trap of some kind. And you actually could look at this as a failure, but it never triggers and it goes higher. And then we turn down again and again, no setup there. And there's nothing you can really enter on here. You don't really want to go long down here, although it's a little tempting and it would have worked, but I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, and then of course we run up and you get another second entry and you can see that resistance across there, even though we're not back to the trend line, uh, we're a little ways away from the EMA and there's a new low first entry. When it breaks lower right there, second entry. And that's a nice, strong signal bar. You should at least get a move back 
to the midline or the EMA even for going higher. And it just shoots right through and pulls back and gives you a failed second entry long. When it breaks higher right there and then turns and goes out the other side, I like going short right there. I don't know if I'd wait till here because the, the failure actually triggered when it broke lower here. So there's still enough room right there to go short, but I probably wouldn't take that trade. Um, and also, if you look, we're right back inside the range in the tolling. And so um, then we end up pushing lower. And then we just kind of work sideways back into the uh, 3 o'clock cutoff time. And so there it is. Uh, definitely a range day. We, we just had big one big leg up and one big leg down. This one was quick and, and pretty, you know, moved pretty quickly and pretty strongly. And then we just kind of meandered on down from there. So um, I think this is probably just all along realizing, hey, this is a range day and we're going lower from here and, and they all start exiting. So anyway, that's how I saw it today. And there's a few trades here. Hopefully as we get later in July and we move into August that uh, hopefully the volatility will pick back up again and we'll start to get some pretty good movement. Uh, although I like today, there was some good trades today. And there were one or two where you probably would only need one trade to catch an easy runner if you're if you're doing a scalp and run and uh, there was a chance to catch a couple of runners today and you could have been done early actually before 8:30 even opened if you caught the right trade so anyway hope you had a good day i'm gonna wrap it up we'll be back again to do it tomorrow this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time